if an island like Haiti had about several hundred million dollars in assets, but they went on, they printed more money than they had things to back it up or gold, then that money has no value. If a little island, say like St. Croix, printed lots of money and just came to the United States to try to buy things, they ran their printing presses night and day, the money is not back, that's why it doesn't have anything. Your whole banking system is utterly corrupt, your lending institutions have loused up the system, but there's nobody out there telling you what's wrong with it. So it looks okay to you. The national debt has grown too large for the national debt clock. None of the world's economic systems have eliminated our most dire problems. All social arrangements to date have remained plagued with war, poverty, crime, racism, elitism, and most of all, scarcity. So there's no way of making this system just. We have to make a system that assures human rights. You know, when everybody has free access to goods and services, you don't have to fight for women's rights or black rights. It's an automatic in a society that's set up that way. Today we have highly advanced technologies, but our social and economic system has not kept up with our technological capabilities, which could otherwise easily create a world of abundance for all people, free of servitude and debt. This system will keep installing more and more automation, cutting down on the purchasing power of the majority of people. It's not China taking our jobs away. It's not India taking our jobs away. The machine has beaten the man. There will come a time called the Gaussian curve, where employment is that, production is this, and purchasing power is that. The system stops. Our problems and their solutions are technical, not political. Most problems can be solved when technology and the methods of science are used with human and environmental concern to serve all people rather than a select few. It'll all be based on a form of dynamic equilibrium. That means operating everything at the highest potential without environmental neglect. When we unleash science and technology directly into the social system without the restrictions of the marketplace, finances, or patents, we could achieve a very high standard of living within a very short period of time. We have the brains, the know-how, the technology, and the feasibility to build an entirely new civilization.